Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you an easy, fast way of being able to protect your passwords from being stolen by hackers and thieves. Um, because especially on the, with the rise of all the malware that's out there and all the spying that's going on, you really want to be protected. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're logging into a forum or Amazon uh, or any other site, you just you don't want someone else stealing your details, especially with things like Amazon or other e-commerce websites, because many times you have your card details on file, so as soon as they get the password, they can just go buying things and you will be footing the bill. So if you look in the description for this video, you'll find a link. If you click that link, it will take you to the page where you can hit the download button, to get this piece of free software called Anti-Logger Free. I have it here. But before I talk you through the install, which is very simple, I'm going to show you an example of a keylogger. This isn't a real keylogger, this is a simulation of a keylogger. So I'm going to hit the start button and I'm going to load up Notepad. Alright, so Notepad is the window I have open right now, and I just typed something out, but this program, which I wasn't even trying to type into, was able to steal a copy of everything that I just typed. So if I was typing in a password on a website or anything, this simulation took a copy of it. So if this was a malicious piece of software, they could now have my passwords for Amazon and Google and all over the place, and essentially steal my identity online and do anything with it. They could buy things, they could, you know, do things and make it look like it was you. So in order to prevent this, we need to install Antilogger. So once you've downloaded it from the link I provided, you double click it. If it requests admin permissions, which it should do on most systems, you hit yes. And then we'll drag this out of the way. So we hit next accept the agreement and here's the agreement if you want to read that hit next and hit next hit next again this will create a desktop shortcut so that you can always get access to it very quickly so we'll leave that on hit next and hit install so this is going to install it onto the system and as you can see the process is a very quick process. It's going to open up a thank you web page. That's fine, but we'll close that off. And by default, it's already checked for launching the program automatically. So we'll hit finish. So now the software is fully operational. There's nothing else you have to do. Right now, you are protected. And in order to show you that, I still have this simulation running. If I go back to Notepad, Instead of it getting everything I'm typing now, all it's getting is just square symbols. Because what's going on is, since this notepad window is the one that I am directly typing into, what this anti-logger free is doing is it's encrypting those words and letters and characters that I'm typing, and it's only allowing the window that has current keyboard access which I'm actively typing in at the moment, it only gives that program the ability to see what's being typed. So since I'm typing into Notepad, this program, I'm not typing into the program. So this is not allowed to get access to what's being typed because I'm typing in this window. So if I go and load up a web browser, go to Google, for example, hit sign in, and start typing in here and type in some password as you can see it doesn't matter what I'm typing where I'm typing it the actual contents are completely garbled there is no way that the keylogger or in this case the simulation of a keylogger can directly get access now there are a few things to note about this. 
is the program. This program is the free version. There is a paid version which is able to prevent more things. But the free one gives you protection at least as far as passwords go. Because as you can see here, the password is blanked out when you're typing it. So more sophisticated keyloggers have the ability to take what's called a print screen or a photograph of what's on your screen so many seconds or every so many minutes. So if you're typing in, they could actually see that you typed in mail address at gmail.com. But if they take a picture of the screen, they have no idea what password you typed. So passwords, even using this free version, are very, very secure because you can rely on the visual protection of the program or the website that you're using. And then if a keylogger is trying to get into the system and directly get what you're typing, as you can see in this example here, it will be unable to. So this software is very easy to use. You saw all you had to do was just go through the install procedure and that was it. And it's just a hit next, next install type of thing. So you can give this tutorial to anybody, any age, old, young, and they will be able to get this high level of protection for passwords. It will also protect things that aren't passwords. So for example, you saw me typing in notepad and it couldn't get what was being typed. You just have to be aware that the free version will not protect you against taking a copy of what's on your screen, like taking a photograph of everything that's on screen. It won't prevent that. It will only prevent a direct attempt to steal the information you type into the keyboard. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please share it with anyone you think would really benefit by having this easy protection. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you did like the video and perhaps leave a comment if you have anything to say about this. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.